Hello everyone, I'm Justin with MajorMoneyTips.com. This video is part one of two, where I'm going to show you some tips and some free tools that you can use to get really extremely precise searches on Craigslist, and then automate those searches so that you're first to know when your search query turns up new results. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, obviously you'll probably want to do your searches in the Craigslist cities that are closest to you, but what if you want to search through the listings of a smaller town that does not have a Craigslist site of its own? Let's say, for example, you want to search through the listings in Alexandria, Minnesota. Obviously, if we look through the links here for the state of Minnesota, there's no listing for Alexandria. Alexandria is about a two-hour drive from Minneapolis, and St. Cloud is just a little over an hour. Just for kicks, I'll go ahead and start on the Minneapolis St. Paul Craigslist site. Now, it's, it's really just as simple as doing a search for the town that you want the listings from. So I'll go ahead and type in Alexandria. In the drop down, you'll want to select what you want to search for. Do you want to buy something? Are you looking for a job or housing? I'll select for sale and then click the little arrow. And here are our results. Notice after each listing is the town that we search for. If we wanted to, we could go back to the St. Cloud Craigslist site and do the same search. We would probably even end up with more results since St. Cloud is physically closer to Alexandria than Minneapolis but hopefully you get the idea with this example. We can also do the same search within each category. So if we want to look at all the motorcycles for sale in Alexandria, Minnesota, we can just go to the motorcycle category. And search for Alexandria. And notice once again that after each listing is the town that we search for. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our motorcycle search, but this time I'll modify this search to look for a particular make and model. I want to open up this search for all of the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, so I'll go ahead and delete Alexandria from our search query. And I'm in the market for Harley Davidson model Sportsters, so I'll enter Harley, comma, Sportster, and then click search. Okay, our search query returned 147 results. We can further filter out our results by omitting certain words from our search. We can do this by simply inserting a minus sign in front of the search term that we want to omit. For example, if we're looking to buy an entire motorcycle, we might not want to see the listings that include all the motorcycle parts, so we can just add a comma, minus sign, parts to our search query. Now our result for the search is 122, so it filtered about 25 results. And you know, this is great and all, but what if I'm looking to buy a motorcycle made within a specific range of years? This can easily be done with the vertical pipe character. This key is usually located right above the enter key on most keyboards, and in some programming languages, it's used as an OR function. For example, if we wanted to filter our results to show only Harley Davidson Sportsters, manufactured in the years 2005 through 2007, we could modify our search query like this. We could enter 2005 or 2006 or 2007 and then click search. And as you can see it returns all of our previous search results only if 2005, 2006 or 2007 is located in the listings title or description. Another very useful tool that we can use to search classifieds on Craigslist is Google's advanced search feature. We can set up Google's advanced search to get very similar results to that of the search we did on Craigslist. I'll just go ahead and enter our same query in the search field here. Notice instead of the vertical pipe character, Google uses the word OR in all caps. It seems like every search engine has its own special formatting that you have to pay attention to. Okay, if you notice, we can set this up to search only within a particular site or domain. 
In this field, we would enter our Minneapolis.craigslist.org. And I'll click on Advanced Search. And here are our results. One advantage with using Google for your search is Google's preview feature. This allows you to essentially view the listings without having to click on each one. This is really nice if I wanted to look through the photos for a specific color of motorcycle, for example. What if we wanted to search through every Craigslist site worldwide? It's no problem. In the field to search within a site or domain, we would just remove the city and enter only craigslist.org. If you notice, now we have a lot more listings, but they're really from all over the world. Using this method to search Craigslist is very useful if you're looking for a rare, one-of-a-kind item that maybe you wouldn't mind traveling to pick up or paying somebody to ship. Now, as convenient as this is, there is one drawback to using Google to search through Craigslist, and that is Google's search results are probably not quite as up-to-date as Craigslist. So if you want real-time, up-to-the-minute results, searching from the Craigslist site would probably be the better choice. Well, now you know how to set up custom search queries in Craigslist. Check out our next video where I'll show you how to automate your Craigslist search to set up automatic notifications and alerts. This is Justin Young with MajorMoneyTips.com. Thanks for watching.